Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. So what's up, you guys? So I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment and I have to put pancake in here while I'm going because there's nobody home and she be acting up when I'm not around. Like she get mad with me and want to pee on my rug. So, you know, I love you. And then I'm going to stop up at the post office because I have a package for a customer to send out. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to have a package to send out to a customer. So, yeah, that's what we're heading out to is the um is the doctor's appointment all right i'm here i am here at the place good morning do i need to sign in Thank you. Huh? Oh, ready? Oh, cool. All right. Thank you. We're not doing that. We're not going to do the weight thing today. I don't have to do your weight. Yeah. Do the That's cool. Yeah. I already, look, I'm too, no. <laughs> I already did that this morning. That's good? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Oh, I did take my blood pressure pill this morning, so. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to take off my pants and put these on. Great. These are shorts. <laughs> Not very fashionable. Bear with me. These are them. Not very fashionable at all. So you guys, this is it. It is, looks a lot scary than it is, so when I start prepping, you're gonna be like, like, what, are we having a baby or something? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> it's going to look a little bit crazy, but we have to have a zero feel because it's a little bit scary. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah putting together the table. Everything has to be sterile in the room. So she does need to make sure that there are gowns, there are alcohol pads and alcohol on my legs down because everything has to be sterile. So in this step right here, she is just going to be prepping me and just alcoholing my legs, my entire legs down. She will also be wrapping my foot up with another cloth along with a partial, a portion of my leg. And that is where I am all rubbed down with the alcohol. Okay, can I tell you guys that I am nervous? Because you see my leg, like I am all wrapped up and everything has to be sterile. Like that needle, I just really don't wanna be here right now, but She's going to get a doctor, so what am I supposed to do? Oh my God, right. this is going to like really hurt. I'm going to have you rotate your leg out a little bit. Kind of frog it that way. Like that? Yeah, because the vein's going to run right in here. Now my Dr. Kim has came into the room, and this long metal-like thing that you see sticking out my leg is the part of the catheter that is going to be going 
into my entire leg she's going to go ahead and stick it into this piece right here this like tubing like you can see it comes out of that and that whole white plastic like piece she is going to go ahead and stick into my my leg into my veins she already went ahead and used the needle to numb me and she's just using the ultrasound machine to map my veins so that way she can see where she wants to place the glue at in my leg she does have to change tubes throughout the process because each tube has like the different type of glue inside of it which will close down my veins now keep in mind i did feel the movement of that catheter in my leg so it wasn't really numb like that as you see there's a lot of blood and my leg also got wrapped up for the day as well so what's up you guys uh, i just wanted to share this with you real quick i don't want to be long-winded but um in case you guys have watched like my re recent real talk i did share with you but very very briefly what um i have been going through so i have been diagnosed with vein disease or cvi which is chronic venous insufficiency and if you guys don't know what it is uh ever see have you ever seen like an elderly person an older person out and about and you may notice on their legs the surface of their legs or just their legs in general you see like really bad veins, you might see bruising, but in general, in a nutshell, you see like bad veins on your legs, like veins that look like they're ready to pop out of your skin. Well, that's CBI. And what happens is your blood is supposed to flow in like a one way street, but unfortunately mine's in my leg area does not, it flows like a two way street. And because it flows like that, that makes your veins protrude and rise to the surface it can swell them it's just a lot of pressure and what happens because of that is you see like the bad veins you see like the scarring of the skin you also see sometimes these type of people that have that in their legs they're either in a wheelchair because it's hard to walk it does make your legs feel really really heavy okay like when i say really really heavy it feels like you've been walking for days i can wake up in the morning and girl it feels like i've been walking in my sleep i still continue to go for walks i do go to the doctors and i have been going for two weeks this is going to be a 12 week thing within a few months it'll alleviate the pressure it'll alleviate the swelling of my legs that i get on a daily basis and then eventually when i do walk it won't hurt as bad that same day i am wrapped up in um band-aid wrap my legs are like that and my legs really hurt they also feel hard in certain areas so by the end of the day i really just don't want to do much and on top of that i have plantar spitiitis which is on the bottom of your feet that comes from you having no arch. My arch has fallen. So that also makes my feet, my soles hurt. So I try to alleviate the pain and the soreness by keeping my feet propped up, keeping my feet elevated, which really don't work. So lately for the past few weeks, I have been using this foot massager. Now it doesn't alleviate all the pressure and the pain on my legs, but on the bottoms of my feet and my calf area that gets swollen every night, Girl, it feels so good. Girl, if you work on your feet, you're on your feet all day, you work out, whatever. Put your feet up and try one of these foot massages. You can massage your calves. They have different type of models. But let me tell you, it feels so good for my feet, okay? And the areas that I can alleviate on my calves do, girl. So I'm going to show you how I use this machine. I'm going to link everything down below. So that way, if you girls are interested or guys, you can check it out. Hey, love. So I am now back in the house. I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how I use my Terralax foot massager. For me, I really can't use it for too long on my leg. Yesterday, I did go to the vein doctor and I did have an injection. So the lower part of my leg is a little bit sore, but I am going to show you guys. It is a little bit of swelling in like the calf area or the ankle area of my feet. And you will see like my veins in my legs and also in my feet. This machine is really useful, especially if you're on your feet all day or you just suffer from some type of leg or foot ailment then this may relieve some of the discomfort for you it does come with a handy remote which controls the auto the custom the manual it also has speed and a direction on it um 
I don't really use the remote because I'm sitting right here and you have to kind of angle it in a certain spot to get it to be dead smack on and operate it. So I don't really use the remote like that. The Terralax and I hope that's how it's pronounced but they have so many different types of massagers on their website. This part right here is removable meaning the nylon fabric. You can unzipper it and throw it in the washing machine when it's time to wash. You can put your legs in this part. The bottom part right here is where you can place your heels rest your heels when need to do so and the same options are on the actual machine there's the power button with the red LED light and there it goes it's just moving inward and you can also control it easily I think this is the easiest for me is with the auto settings as far as the custom you can custom speed and direction it now you can use this on the floor you can prop this up on your couch wherever you feel comfortable um, I just rest something underneath this so that way it is standing in this upright position what would have been really cool this is what the back looks like there are stoppers on it but what would have been really cool is if they had like some type of stand so when you want to prop it up it would hold it up so I just get um, like either a box or something and I just place it underneath it like I said if you're on the couch you can prop it up so this part guys is where you can put your legs in the machine like your calves below your knee in the machine you just have to prop it up a certain way there are different speeds I have it on the a1 now I'm going to choose the a2 unfortunately you can't see the different tension and underneath also it gives you like the balls rubbing up against your leg the back of your legs or the bottom of your feet now I'm using the a3 um, auto one and it does go a little bit different speed it, it also will go in and outward and this is a4 the more options you choose you will feel a little bit more tension onto it and if you will decide just to use it with your feet it's the same process I like it for my feet the most because it doesn't hurt um, sometimes it does hurt on my um, legs but the feet are so comfortable and relaxing a good for a hard long day's work about it simple to use you know I'm pretty sure there are videos on YouTube of how you can use the manual custom settings they also does come with a owner's instructional manual I do find like tutorials on on the internet are a lot easier versus reading the instructional manual depending on where the item came from depending on the settings it depends on what you'll feel in the machine I really do like it most on my feet because it just relieves a lot of the pain and pressure from the plantar fasciitis but I will leave all the information down below for Terralax girl or dude if you at work all day you on your feet all day then you definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to relieving the pain the discomfort I hope you guys you know have a great day and I will see y'all in the next one bye